Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drawdwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract the payload.bin file directly on your Android phone without the need for PC. So as you might be aware, numerous OEMs nowadays pack their firmware files inside the payload.bin file. So if you want individual partition file such as the boot IMG, vendor IMG, super IMG or any such file, you will now have to extract this bin file first and foremost. And regarding that, there exist a couple of methods that you could do on your PC and get this job done. But these methods are quite lengthy and quite complicated. And it goes without saying that you would require a PC as well for those methods. So if in case you don't have a PC or you don't have much knowledge about the Python coding, then it might prove to be a little bit complicated process. Fortunately, there exists a method that does not require a PC, you could easily extract the payload.bin file directly on your Android phone. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download the payload dumper tool on your phone. So get it from this link and then transfer it onto your phone. So this is the payload dumper tool by ios.zip. I've given the link, simply extract it. And once you have extracted it, copy this folder onto your phone. So let me do that as well. You just need to change it to file transfer and your phone will be visible on your PC. So let's now transfer the file onto my phone. Once we have got the tool onto our phone, our next course of action is to get hold of the required payload.bin file. So as of now, I'm using the OnePlus phone. In OnePlus phone, the OnePlus firmware are saved in a zip file first and foremost. So you might see a random name as you could see in over here. So this is a firmware zip file for OnePlus. So simply extract it and you will get this folder. And inside this folder, you will get a couple of files, including the payload.bin file. So now we will have to extract this bin file. So what you have to do is simply copy the bin file from here and paste it inside the on your phone inside the payload dumper tool folder. So simply paste it inside the payload dumper folder and paste it here. So the file is now being pasted and it could take up to a couple of minutes at the very max. So just to repeat, first and foremost, you have to download the payload dumper tool on your phone, extract it and paste it onto your phone. And inside this tool folder, you will, you will get this payload dumper folder. And inside this folder, you will get a couple of files. Once that is done, your next course of action is to get the payload.bin file. In case of OnePlus, the firmware file is in usually in a zip format. So extract it and upon extraction, you will get a file something like this. Inside that, you will get around three to four files. So copy the payload.bin file from here and paste it inside the payload dumpel folder. In this folder, you should already see three files. So simply paste your payload.bin file inside this folder. And with this, you should have around four files. So the transfer of the file could take up to around four to five minutes. So let's just wait for the transfer to complete and then we'll be back. So guys, inside the payload dumper tool, which is on our phone, we now have four files. The first three files are for the tool itself. And the fourth file is my payload.bin file which I got from my firmware. Now let's further make the process more simpler so that it becomes easier to type in the CMD window. So let's do one thing. Let's simply copy this payload dumper folder and move it onto our phone's internal storage. So as of now, you could see if we on our phone, we have a folder named payload dumper tool by iOS. And inside that we have one more folder by the name of payload dumper and then only we could access the file. So what we could do, we could simply copy this payload dumper folder and do a cut and then paste it over here onto your phone. So as of now, we have skipped one directory and now you could simply remove this folder because it's empty. We have done that so that it becomes easier to type in the CMD window or rather the Termux window on our phone. So as of now, our working directory will be just named as payload dumper as opposed to earlier time when it was named as payload dumper tool by EUS, which was quite a lengthy name and typing that name every time would have proved to be quite a challenging task. 
so that is why i simply did a cut off that folder and paste it onto my phone so that i have removed the lendier folder name and now we just have the payload dumper folder and inside that these three are the files of the tool and these three are the files of the tool and this is my payload.bin file and moreover the name of the working directory is just payload dumper so it will not be easier to type in the dumbux window on our phone i will show you all that steps as well so let's now move ahead with the next step so next up we have now got the payload.bin file inside the tools folder so once that is done now comes the most challenging part now for the ease of convenience if you are using a pc i'll recommend you to open the same page on your phone as well because now we have to copy paste a few commands onto your phone so if you have the article open on your phone you could simply copy it from my guide and paste it onto your phone directly let me show you so regarding that first of you have to install the termux app onto your phone so let's do that you could easily install it from play store as well i already have an apk so i'll be using the apk file this is the termux app so let me install it it will only take a few seconds so let's just get the job done and let's verify the result as well so with this we have installed the termux app onto our phone once that is done let's launch the termux app and now you have to execute this four commands one at a time so make sure to copy the entire command and don't miss any parameter so let's copy the first command and paste it here and hit enter it will now download a few directories once that is done it's currently carrying out the task so let's just wait for a few more seconds and it will download all the files from the mirrors and sites that it finds out and you will be notified of the same as you go see currently it's downloading all the library and, and packages of, of python which could take up to around a couple of minutes at the very max the entire process usually takes around 4 to 5 minutes which is not quite lengthy so as soon as you see a hash sign followed by a dollar sign so this signifies that the first step is complete and you are now free to move ahead to the next step so next up let's now execute the second command so again copy this entire second command copy it and similarly paste it in the termux window and hit enter once that is done let's now move ahead with the third command so simply copy this command and paste it as well just a minute and hit enter in some cases you might get an import error that is not a cause of any concern simply ignore that mostly in case of command 2 and command 3 you might get an import error this is not any cause of concern and the process will not get stuck because of this so simply ignore this error if you get while executing second or third command that's completely normal the most important are the first and the fourth command and the subsequent command that we are going to use so now we are done with the first second and third command let's now move ahead with the fourth command and select it just a minute so copy this command and paste it in the termux window as well and hit enter and it will now carry out a few tasks and download a few directories which will take up to a few time so you will get a few prompt on your phone all you have to do is select y y stands for install the package maintainer version as you could see from here so type in y and hit enter you might get this prompt around 7 to 8 times so every time you will have to type on y and hit enter again type in y and hit enter so do so every time it asks for and it will be around 7 to 8 times and with this we are done with the first half we have installed the executed the four commands let's now move ahead and now we have to give the termux app the access to storage so that it could access the payload.bin file so simply copy this command termux setup storage and paste it here 
and you will now get a prompt storage prompt so tap on allow and with this Tomworks has been given the storage permission let's now move ahead and now you have to change the Tomworks directory to the folder where the payload.bin file is present so as you might be aware in our case the payload.bin file is there in the payload dumpal folder now it will be easier to type in the directory and that is the reason why I initially had renamed the folder or rather I had done a cut and paste earlier as you might be aware in the first step our payload.bin file or the entire folder was there inside the payload dumper tool by eu.zip something by that name so I did a cut and pasted the tool inside the internal storage so that it now becomes easier to type in the termux window or in other words you could now simply copy this entire command because the directory payload underscore dumper is same as that which we have on our phone so all you have to do now is just simply copy paste this command so let me do that as well so let's move ahead and use the cd which is a change directory command and now we'll be changing the directory to the payload dumper folder so copy it and paste it in the termux window and hit enter and as you could see the cd or the current directory has been changed to the payload dumper folder where we have our payload.bin file as you could see from here it's inside the payload dumper folder so let's now move ahead so now you will have to install a couple of google api dependency for python so for that you just have to execute a couple of commands so first of type copy this command from here and then simply paste it here and hit enter it will now install and take a few seconds once that is done let's now paste the second command as well this time we are installing the google api core so again copy it and paste it in the termux window and hit enter and it will now install the google api cores once that is done we could now move ahead and extract the payload.bin file on your android phone so now all you have to do is simply copy paste this command so let's copy this command and paste it in the termbox window onto your phone and hit enter and the extraction will now begin straight away so as you could see it has now started extraction the system file and now it will extract all the partition file one at a time so as you could see from here let me show you one more file and then the process will go on the maximum amount of time is usually taken by the system and system ext file so please don't interact with your phone while the process is going on as you could see the extraction has now begun and the entire extraction varies depending on the firmware size so it could take up to 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes as well that's not the cause of concern let's just wait for the extraction to go on and then we will be back in the meantime let me discuss or repeat one important aspect so initially as i have told you before once we extract the payload dumper tool on your phone it will be in the name of payload dumper tool by ios and inside that we have one more folder and inside the folder we have these three files so what i did i simply extracted the payload dumper from the payload dumper tool and placed it as a separate folder i did that just so that it becomes easier to type in the termux window as you could see from here on the other hand if we hadn't changed the directory then we had to type in the entire directory over here which would have proved to be quite a lengthy approach so just to save some time i did that, that if you want you may also simply keep the file inside the original folder but in that case you will have to change the location over here as well so in that case make sure to add the location of payload dumper by the same name and change the directory accordingly so payload dumper tool by ios slash payload dumper slash payload dot bin in that case you will have to change this directory as well but to save the time and effort i simply extracted the payload dumper from that and placed it separately onto our phone as i have shown you in the beginning of the video so with that said you just have to install these google api dependencies and execute these four commands and in the second and third command you might get a failed message that is completely normal and nothing to worry about the first and 
fourth command should execute successfully. Once that is done, you will have to give it the storage access to Tomux so that it could access the payload dot bin file and then extract the bin file and place the bin file onto your phone. Apart from that, we change the working directory to the payload dumper folder and then solve the couple of Google APIs. Finally, we use this command to extract the payload dot bin file using the payload dumper dot py. This is the Python file which was there inside the tool itself. So once that is done, the extraction should now begin and it will take around 5 to 10 minutes. And as you could see in our case, the extraction has now been completed. So we could now verify the files as well. So let's go to the payload dumper folder and verify the files. So this is the folder which we have used. And inside this, as you could see, we have now got all this file. And now if you want, you could flash this file onto your PC using the password command or use the boot IMG for root purpose or do whatever you want using these files. So guys, on that note, I rounded this video while I have used the PC, but the PC was only used to download the file and transfer the file. You could easily get all the entire job done just on your Android phone. I have used PC just to show you the steps easier. In fact, there is no use of any PC during the entire steps. As you have, might have seen, you could download the tool from your phone itself. Then you could download the firmware from the phone as well. And you could extract the firmware as well. Extract the tool from the phone as well. Likewise, installing the Python and executing the commands. All the tasks could be done from your phone itself. I have just used PC so that it becomes easier to view and easier to get the job done when it comes to showing in the video. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.